To start the marinade for the sautés, toast the coriander and fennel seeds over medium heat. Toast until they just begin to smoke and release their aroma. Then set aside and let cool. Now roughly chop the shallots. These shallots may look a bit different than your average shallot, but they're not. They're just a bit easier to peel and chop because of their shape. Next, transfer the toasted spices to the food processor and grind. If you grind your spices in a food processor, you will not get a fine grind, but for these sautés, the rough texture of the spices is exactly what we want. Now add the shallots and then roughly chop the garlic and add it to the food processor as well. Peel the ginger and give it a rough chop. Using two different gingers is about depth of flavor and adding layers to your cooking. But if you cannot find young ginger, you can simply add a bit more regular ginger. For the serrano peppers, give them a rough chop as well. I like to remove the seeds from one of them, but this is up to you and whether you like things spicy or not. Add the peppers to the food processor and then puree everything together. You are not looking for a fine paste here, just make sure there are no big chunks. Now finely mince the lemongrass. Use only the white part of the lemongrass, as this green end is quite tough. Keeping the root end intact just makes it easier to chop. This is about how fine you want it. If you soften the palm sugar in the microwave for approximately 30 seconds, it is much easier to chop. The reason I don't melt the palm sugar is because I want to add bits of sweetness here and there, rather than an all-over sweetness. Add the palm sugar to the food processor along with the salt, turmeric, oil, and water. Blend until you get a nice thick paste with no big chunks. This is the right consistency. Now set this aside while you prepare the chicken. For the chicken, even though we have bought boneless skinless, there are usually bits of bone or gristle still left on. I find using scissors rather than a knife quicker and easier to remove all of this. We are using chicken thighs for the sautés, not only because they are considerably less expensive than chicken breast, but also because they tend to be more moist. 
Cut the thighs lengthwise into approximately two inch strips like this. You will only need one piece of chicken per skewer, so this recipe makes plenty, but they do freeze well. I usually count on three skewers per person. Before you add the paste to the chicken, give it one last pulse. Then fold it into the chicken, cover, and let marinate for up to four hours. Approximately an hour before you're ready to cook the sautés, soak the skewers in cold water or even overnight. This will prevent them from burning while cooking. Once ready, thread the chicken onto the skewers like this. You can thread the skewers ribbon style like this, which is the way I prefer to do them, or you can thread them straight through the center of the meat. Either way, just be careful as the ends of the skewers can be quite sharp. Then place onto a lined baking tray. A good trick is to place the skewered chicken into a bowl, that way the handles don't get covered in the sauce. To cook the sautés, it is best to use a grill or a barbecue, that way you will get those nice grill marks. But you can also bake these in the oven, if using a grill, heat to medium-high and lightly grease to prevent the sautés from sticking. Here is another little trick of mine. Place a folded piece of aluminum foil underneath the ends of the skewer. Even though we have soaked the skewers, they still have a tendency to burn, so this just gives them a little extra protection. Cook the sautés on the one side until you can see the edges start to turn white. Then brush them very lightly with oil and flip them over. If they seem to be sticking to the grill when you try to flip them, they may not be cooked enough on the first side. So just let them cook for a bit longer, then try flipping them. The saute should take anywhere from five to seven minutes per side, or until there is no longer any pink in the middle. Cut into one of the bigger pieces to check if you are unsure. For a nice contrast in texture and color, serve these sautés with coconut-infused basmati rice and cucumber sunamono salad. And for those who want a little extra kick, serve them with a side of sambal.